um, what kind of literature are you interested in? Like, do you read all like music stuff? Do you um, do all sorts of like like fiction reading? Like, I'm a, I'm a sucker for sci sci fi. Really? Yeah, my, one of my favorite authors is Max Berry, who's this Australian author. That, that's like something I like to do outside of music because, like, like I said before, I'm sure you feel this way that you feel so consumed in in this career where you're traveling and you're performing so much that we forget to. Um, take care of ourselves yeah. am i right yeah for so sure. do you, actually this is a good segue <clears throat> what are some tips that you can offer to violinists in terms of like mental health and self-care when you're a violinist especially with such a vigorous schedule like yourself well of course this applies to to all musicians um i mean really i would say take Take it seriously. Take the self-care seriously. I used to not take it seriously. I thought it was an excuse. I thought it was like, you know, some sort of laziness. But that is so far from the truth. We really have to take care of ourselves first in order to <clears throat> be able to serve the music. <clears throat> <Yeah>. Sorry. <laughs> I know. It's so dry in here. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get some of that. <laughs> yeah, get that, get that water and I'll drink some too. <clears throat> that leads me to the violin part of the violin podcast when it comes to practice technique. So, because I feel like a lot of... What I teach, and maybe you can comment on this, is practice is just understanding the behavior, you know, you, the behavior towards practice. Mm -hmm. And how do you approach practice? Do you start with scales? Do you um, have some quiet meditation when you think about the music? I, I'm just making stuff up. But what? how do you start <coughs> your practice sessions and how do you proceed with practice? Lately, because of the amount of repertoire, I've been warming up with... Um, passage work from from the repertoire. Like if I'm not gonna not gonna practice Shostakovich concerto today, um, I will warm up with passage work from it. Mm. There are so many scales and arpeggios in all of these works where we can warm up and at the same time get a little closer to progress with those pieces. So that's how I warm up. So you're actually doing two things at once. Mm -hmm. You're actually studying the repertoire. You're practicing. You're warming up. But then you realize that the piece actually has a bunch of scales and arpeggios, so you're actually doing two things at once. Yep. If you're my student listening on the violin podcast, practice your scales. <laughs> In the beginning, they help.